Okay, I got this set up with a 1% resistor. That's a 1 ohm resistor. And that's going to read over here. That's going to read my <coughs> current. Right now, it's, although I have it set up, uh, it's, it's on a DC scale, a uh, voltage scale. It's set up to whatever that milli, milli volts reading is. It's also going to be the milli current too, or mi, mi, milliamp current. So that's that's the setup on that. That's the current going to be read. This is the voltage going to be read. And here's the setup. Right now I got it grounded. Okay, there's a ground connection to it. And I have this set up to where it goes over to, and I got a new new setup for my uh, dome. I used it in a, a colander, a metal colander, over my nine inch colander over over my plasma ball. There's my plasma ball under it. Okay. Nothing's happening right now because I don't have nothing turned on. And uh, the lead from the colander is going straight over. And incidentally, that colander is not touching the glass at all. It's got a quarter inch separation all the way around the glass of the plasma ball. And that's going into the antenna pickup to this unit here. That's the setup. Now I'm going to take this all the way up to 500 volts. And you can see what the current is going to be and all that other stuff. Alright, now I'm about ready to turn this on. Let's see here. I'm going to turn it on. Right now it's turned on. I'm up to 130 volts here. Nothing grounded. Notice. I don't even got... There's no millivolts at all, or milliamps, I should say. I'm up to 435, 400, steadily going up. It's funny I don't blow anything, but I'm just trying it to see what happens. If I blow the diodes, so what? I just replace them. So I'm about to 500, and oh, well, you can see it's just swollen up. 600 volts. Nothing here, but I'm going to take this ground off. The ground's off. Now I got 1.8. Now this is going to be milliamps instead of millivolts. There I go. It's still, still going up, and this is voltage. Let's see how it goes. There's my current. This is in milliamps now, because I got that one percent resistors in line here. There's a circuit. Nothing. Nothing smoking yet. There's my colander set up. You can see the sparks inside of there. Like I said, a colander is not touching the surface of the glass. Here's the setup. Okay, 531. It looks like it's pretty much quit. So I got 531 volts at 1.8 milli milliamps. It's going to be 1. 1.9 milliamps. Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll go to two. I don't know. 1.8. So that's what it's set up, that's what it's doing right now. You can see the separation of the wires here. I got that meter is reading the volts right here directly. And this one here is meeting the current. Okay. So if this one is reading the current and I connect it to the ground, I don't get no current at all. But yet I still keep the voltage. I don't know. Well, something's going on. And I haven't blown anything. Those those diodes are they're, they're rated like <coughs> 150 volts and they haven't blown. I got 534 volts on this thing. Figure it out folks. Let me know what's going on.